Hey everybody, I just wanted to take a quick minute and review a concept within Modic that some have had questions about recently. Uh, you may have noticed in a recent version of Modic that we have defined forms as two different types. And I wanted to briefly look at those two types of forms and kind of explain their use case so that it makes more sense. When you look in your Modic installation, you go to Manage Forms and click New. You'll be presented with a modal, and in that modal you'll have two options, New Campaign Form and New Standalone Form. Now, of course, you could read the block of text that tells you a little bit about those, but nobody likes to do that, so instead I'm just going to tell you quickly how they differ and when you would use one or the other. If you choose New Campaign Form, what you'll notice is you have a Details and a Fields tab, and that's it. However, if I were to go back and I choose New Standalone Form, you'll notice here I have Details, Fields, and Actions. The Actions tab is unique to the Standalone Form. Now let me explain the use case. If, for example, you wanted to create a form to collect certain information from your users and then immediately perform some action on those submissions, such as maybe uh, letting them download an asset, pushing that lead to an integration, um, or sending an email to that lead immediately upon that form submission, and that would be pretty much the end of your contact with them, then you would create a standalone form, and you would define your actions on the form. If, however, instead that you wanted to create a form that would be used to populate part of your campaign, Meaning, if this user fills out the form, you then want to perform a series of actions on that lead over a time period or as a result of different user interactions with your website um, or other uses, you would want to create a campaign form. And in that case, you wouldn't necessarily want the actions to be on the form, but you would want those actions to be part of your campaign workflow. So to avoid confusion, we've removed the actions from the campaign form and placed those directly in the campaign. That way, when you go to manage a campaign and you launch your campaign builder, and maybe you choose a campaign form as your baseline for the new campaign you're creating, you would then use these actions and decisions as a direct result of that form submission. What you'll notice is that these actions defined within the campaign are very similar, if not identical, to the form actions that you would find on a standalone form. The reason we've separated these two is to keep you from having two places where you might enter an action on a form and thus have confusion. If you had a form that you had actions defined on the form, but you also used that form on a campaign, there's the possibility that you would have a duplicate action. So you might trigger something on the form, but you would also trigger it during the campaign workflow. So we've separated that out to two different form types. A campaign form, where the actions will be defined as part of your campaign workflow, or a standalone form, where you would define these singular actions that would happen with that form submission directly on the form. Hopefully that helps as you begin to use forms within Modic.